Are you dreaming of lazy summer days on the dock, maybe sipping some lemonade at your own lakeside retreat? Well, according to the Canadian Real Estate Association, if you're aiming to make that dream a reality this year, the clock is ticking and it's ticking fast. Picture this, it's the third week of February, as you can see, and you're watching this video. In just over three months, the May long weekend will usher in the unofficial start of summer in cottage country. But wait, before you can kick back and relax, there is a whirlwind of work to conquer. According to the Canadian Real Estate Association, or CREA, the average time it takes to purchase a home in Canada is about four months. This includes the time it takes to find a home, negotiate, and close the deal. However, that timeline can vary significantly depending on the location and the available properties you have to choose from. So that means, if you want to buy a cottage this year and be able to enjoy it all summer long, you are already behind schedule. I'm sorry to break it to you. So let's break this down. If the unofficial start of summer in a cottage country is the May long weekend, which is generally the third weekend in May, and I'm filming this video during the third week of February, that gives you roughly three months or 90 days to in no particular order, get your financing in order, find a local realtor, narrow down your search criteria, get your feet on the ground and tour a few cottages, make an offer on one and have it accepted, do all of the due diligence, so the inspections, getting insurance, moving, and then move in in time to entertain on the long weekend. I'm exhausted just thinking about all of this. No wonder you haven't started your search. Four months is an average. Some people are lucky to find their perfect cottage on their first property tour. We worked with a family last year who reached out to us in late April. They watched a property tour video we did and thought it would suit them and wanted to come up and take a look in person. So we chatted with them, we added a few other cottages to their tour, and off we went. After touring four cottages, they ended up following, falling in love with one. Not the one we originally thought they wanted to have, but another one we picked out, made a successful offer that same weekend. By the May long weekend, they were fishing off the dock at their new family cottage. A little over six weeks from the time they reached out until they got the keys to their new cottage. That is not the norm. On the flip side, some buyers take much longer. We worked with a wonderful couple who were looking for their perfect cottage country getaway. They were very, very specific with their wish list. So finding that perfect place took some time. It took six months and many property tours before they found their perfect cottage country retreat. In this case, they had to kiss a lot of frogs before they found their Prince Charming. And we have other clients who have been looking for years, yes, years, you know who you are, to find that perfect cottage. So let's go back to that math. Here are some things we know for sure. If the average time to buy is four months or 120 days, an average closing time for a property from the time the offer is accepted until you get the keys is roughly 45 to 60 days. Let's go with 45 in this scenario, just for simplicity. So 120 days minus 45 days equals 75. If you aren't paying cash, your first step will be to secure your financing so that you know your budget that you have to work with. That could take up to two weeks. So 75 minus 14 days, you now have 61 days. Once you know your budget, you can start your search. So you're going to want to find a local realtor who knows uh, your preferred area, and you're gonna to wanna to meet with them to discuss criteria, timelines, and that budget you just found out. So plan for a week for this. Uh, like most service professionals, you don't want to hire someone who isn't busy. So 61 days minus seven, you're now 54 days. Your busy local realtor will start emailing you listings right away of cottages that meet your criteria. Uh, you'll also be scouring Realtor.ca and so House Sigma all over the internet to make sure no cottage is overlooked. So a few of these cottages are almost perfect for you. It's time to make the drive to cottage country to see them in person. It will likely take two or three trips to narrow down your options and find that one perfect cottage. Plan on three weekends of property tours on average or 21 more days. So 54 minus 21, we're down to 33 days. 
in our average timeline scenario, we've got 33 days. So we've got a bit of a buffer, more time to find that perfect cottage and the option for a longer closing. Less stress and you have a more relaxed shopping experience. But that's based on the average of four months. We know we only have three months to work with if you want to watch the Victoria Day fireworks off your new dock. So if we do the math on a three month timeline, we have 90 days minus 45 to close. So we're down to 45 days, 14 days to sort out financing. We're up to 31 days, seven days to, to find your realtor, determine your wants, needs and location. We're now 24 days and then 24 to 21 days of searching on average. So we've got three days, three days of buffer. That's realtor math for you. <laughs> if you want to be in your cottage by the unofficial launch of summer 2024, you have three days of wiggle room if you start your search today. I get it. It's mid-February. I mean, the snow is falling. It's still clinging on like a stubborn buyer at an open house. And the lakes are frozen solid. People are packing for their tropical vacations, not traveling north to cottage country where it's even colder and snowier than at home. Who's thinking about buying a cottage now? I'll tell you who, the savvy, well-informed buyer, that's who. And now that is you. You've got three days to get started. Don't waste them. If you want some help narrowing down your search area, watch this video about the pros and cons of Fenland Falls in the Kawartha Lakes. This family-friendly town may have more to offer than you think. See you next time.